Texas Motor Speedway, the first race of the round of 12 for the NASCAR Cup Series, and William Byron gets the job done, gets his sixth win of the season in a somewhat chaotic Texas race. Let's get started with this video. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of In The NASCAR. This is the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400 race review at Texas Motor Speedway. This is the first race of the round of 12. And before I start, before I start getting into the race, uh, I have an announcement to make that for my, for my birthday, which is going to be coming up on Saturday, I will be going back to Talladega Super Speedway for the sixth consecutive year in a row. I've been going to the playoff race there since 2018. And yeah, I'm going back there again for my birthday, guys, this year. So yeah, I'll be going there for the Truck Series race and the Cup Series race. So yeah, expect vlogs to be out um, next week. So yeah, just want to let you guys know that I will be returning. Be, I'll be going back to Talladega Super Speedway this year for the playoff race for both the Truck Series and the Cup Series race. So yeah, that's an announcement. And anyways, let's get started with the race review. So on the pole was Bubba Wallace, and I tell you what, he had a career day of leading laps. Over, I think over 100 laps? That is good. That is really great for Bubba Wallace. He didn't win any stages, but Bubba Wallace, he was really strong on restarts. He and Kyle Larson were the top two guys on restarts today. And, yeah. So first off, um, stage one, I think the first incident was for Austin Dillon. He had a, he had a loose wheel. How a loose wheel came off, and Austin was able to hit the wall and damage his day. Um, then we got Todd Gillen, 51, who had some who had problems. And then Kyle Busch, the first playoff implication for today. Um, he got apparently he, he got loose after green flag pit stops. He had some sort of issue in his car with like the tires, and he just went up and spun out and hit the outside wall. So. Yeah, tough break for Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch was one of my picks to make it to the championship for this season. Because I, I fi figure that Kyle Busch would have a big motivation. And from, with motivation from Kyle Busch comes a very, very fast Kyle Busch. And he just wasn't like that. And he just was not like that in the last round, nor this round. But this round, I figured, was going to be better for Kyle Busch. But... Not off to a good start for the round of 12. He's down below the cut line in the in the 12th position right now in the playoff standing. So, completely sucks for Kyle Busch. And, yeah. And then we have a little bit... I forgot to talk about this. Um, now, now I'm going to get to this incident on pit road between Ty Gibbs and Denny Hamlin. Ty Gibbs, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing, man? So, yeah, I gotta say is Ty Gibbs. There was clearly room. You can see that... There was room above Ty Gibbs. Ross Chastain was there, but he, but Ty could have gone right next to Ross, and then he, and Ty wouldn't have that issue. So, yeah, Ty Gibbs ended up costing his own race, and yeah. So, yeah, but it, um, stage one was won by Tyler Reddick. Um, yeah. So stage two, um, nothing really much happened. I think incidents. Let me go ahead and check. Nothing really happened incident-wise in Stage 2, other than Corey LaJoy having a tire problem of some sort. Then Stage 2 was won by Kyle Larson, who I believe had the fastest car today. Who had legit had the fastest car, especially on restarts. And then Stage 3 happened, Larson was dominant. And then um, the next caution came out when Suarez spun out, heading on the pit road. And then J.J. Haley had a problem. And yeah, but Kyle Larson, man... He, like I said, he was the fastest car, and then on one of the last restarts, one of the final three restarts, Bubba Wallace and Larson were fighting it out, and Larson got loose and spun around and hit the wall and ended his race completely. So, yeah, the two tried kind of similar to what we saw at Michigan between some of the drivers, like Kyle Busch and Blaney, for example. They got the, um, Busch got underneath Blaney, and Blaney's, and 
Bush spun out and Wallace and Larson got together and then Larson spun out and hit the wall. So similar, but just a racing deal and it's going for the win. So yeah. Um so yeah, and then then the final the second to last restart, we have this big crash that happened that took out Cindric. Um Hallmaninger was involved. Um Zane Smith was involved, Brian Blaney. Um yeah, Team Penske today was not good at all. Well, Blaney was in the top 10 all day, top 10 because of strategy reasons, but he ended up getting caught up in this wreck and ended up getting some stage points, and the points definitely was not, it's not as bad. So, yeah, but then, um, but then on the final, then on the final restart, Bubba Wallace didn't have as good of a restart, and then William Byron went three wide, went underneath Bubba Wallace, was able to take the lead away, and it was able to hang on for a win. So... Yeah, William Byron, this is his sixth win of the season, punches his ticket to the round of eight, I have a feeling, I knew, I have, he's going to make it to the championship four this year, he's one of my picks to make it to the championship four, and yeah, I would say, that's pretty much everybody's pick at this point, William Byron is indeed going to make it to the championship four, so, in my opinion, because all the playoff points, we have tracks up there that he's been good at, so, yeah, William Byron, Definitely going to be make, make, making it to the championship four. So, yeah, at this point. So, I'm going to talk about some other drivers. Bubba Wallace, man. I so wanted him to win this race. Like, my main pick today was Kevin Harvick, but I think Harvick finished in the top ten. So, yeah. And Bubba Wallace, he had a career day at leading laps and won the pole, by the way. Just, I don't really want Bubba to win, but he said in his interview that he choked. Um... I mean, yeah, I mean, I can get that because Bubba had the lead and then didn't get the good restarts he wanted to, and yeah, but Bubba's now minus two below the cut line, only like a couple points below, but next up we go to Talladega, and yeah, that track for Bubba, Bubba has been good, somewhat good for Bubba Wallace, so he did get his first win there, so yeah, Bubba does have some confidence heading into Talladega, but anything can happen there, so yeah, um, Forgot to mention at the end of stage one. We gotta talk about Martin Truex Jr., my championship pick. He had a not so good of a day. Um, so yeah, Truex at the end of stage one, he and Eric Jones and Brad got together, and Truex ended up spinning out at the end of stage one. So yeah, so not really a one of the days that Truex wanted to have. So yeah, um, now Texas, Texas is a track that somewhat some most NASCAR fans dislike I don't mind it I truly don't I don't like I don't really despise any NASCAR tracks in a way I don't really hate any of them I don't just I just don't dislike any of them guys I just truly don't like you know if you got as much as I think I don't like any NASCAR tracks I really don't like I just don't so yeah so that's just how I feel. So I don't really despise any NASCAR tracks. So yeah, um, that's what I have on Texas Motor Speedway. So yeah, but oh, Alan Merle and Alex Bowman, they got together. I forgot to mention that state, but mention that. Um, so that was still in stage one. Um, yeah. So man, this race was somewhat chaotic. It was not as chaotic as last year's. It was definitely not as chaotic as last year's. And, yeah, there wasn't tire failures. As much tire failures as last year. And, yeah, guys. So, that is going to that. Um, with that being said, now I'm going to go ahead and talk about guys, the race results. And the playoff standings. And here is the race results. William Myron won the race, gets his sixth win of the season, finishes first. Ross Chastain will finish second. Bubba Wallace third. Christopher Bell fourth. My favorite driver, Denny Hamlin, rounds out the top five. Kevin Harvick, my pick to win this race, finishes sixth. Brad Keselowski, seventh. He was in the top ten all day. Daniel Suarez, after Suarez, after spinning out early in stage three, coming on pit row, finishes eighth. Top ten for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. What about that? Chase Briscoe finishes 10th after starting on the front row from the final restart. Chase Elliott 11th and Alex Bowman 12th. Justin Haley 13th. Chris Buescher falls back to 14th. 
Michael McDowell, 15th. Carson Hosevar showed some flashes of top 15 speed. Um, he ends up finishing 16th, though. Martin Truex Jr. had a meh of a day, finished 17th. Eric Almirall, 18th. Ty Dillon for Spire with a top 20. Harrison Burton finishes 20th. Joey Logano, 21st. BJ McLeod, 22nd. Ryan Priest, 23rd. Zane Smith will finish 24th. Tyler Reddick, he ended up hitting the wall once that big wreck happened. Joy, 26, Austin Cindric, 27th, and Ryan Blaney, 28th, 8th, Almanier, 29th, Eric Jones rounds out the top 30, those guys from, from, I think from Zane Smith all the way down to like Eric Jones where the car is involved in that accident, Kyle Larson, damaged vehicle policy got in that split out after with racing hard with Bubba Wallace, JJ Ailey, 32nd, Ty Gibbs, 33rd, Kyle Busch with that early spin in stage 1, uh, who will finish 34th, Todd Gillen 35th, and Austin Dillon will finish last. And here are the updated playoff standings. Obviously, William Byron is in the playoffs, and with that win, he's on to the round of 8. Denny Hamlin is plus 37. Chris Busher is plus 22. Christopher Bell, plus 20. Martin Trix Jr. is plus 19. Ross Chastain with that second place is plus 12. Brad Kozlowski is plus 8. And Kyle Larson, despite him being wrecked, wrecked out of this race, he was still being a he's still plus two above the cut line. Bubba Wallace and Tyler Reddick, the 2311 cars, are the first ones below the cut line. Bubba Wallace minus two and Tyler Reddick minus three. Ryan Blaney getting caught up in that in that um second to last um restart with that crash on the front straightaway. He's now minus eleven below the cut line. And Kyle Bush is minus seventeen below the cut line after that after that stage one crash that he had in turn one. So yeah. Talladega is going to be coming up. So yeah, guys, in conclusion, this race was decent. This race was decent, so yeah. This race wasn't as total chaotic and bizarre as last year's, and it didn't take like six hours to complete. And yeah, William Byron wins, guys. So happy for William Byron. Congratulations. This is also Hendrick Motorsports, his 300th career win as an organization. So, yeah, the 200th win was back in 2013 with Jimmy Johnson, 269 with Kyle Larson a couple of years ago, and now with 300 comes with the 24 of William Byron at Texas Motor Speedway. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to rate this race a 6 out of 10 for this one. Um, yeah, so this race was pretty, was, was decent. It was a decent race, in my opinion. So, 6 out of 10 for me. There was passing. By the way, it was a hot Texas race. It was like in the triple digits at the start, but again, it got cooled down, and it cooled down as the race went on. So, yeah. So, yeah. What do you guys think about this race? Let me know in the comments. Next up is Talladega, and I will be there for both the Truck Series and the Cup Series race. So, yeah. And anyways, guys, this is Preston signing off. Peace out.